I teach economics and I'm always telling kids when we talk about outsourcing and consumerism, you know, look at your shirt, look at your pants. You know, everything's not made here in the United States, so what do other countries do to, you know, provide for themselves? So I've always wanted to travel, being an economics teacher and a geography teacher, so I started looking and I found a grant called Fund for Teachers. And they provide in-service opportunities for teachers to travel throughout the world and really get out of the normal classroom environment to bring real life experiences back to your classroom. So through their grant and through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, I traveled to Peru to study consumerism and work with the local people on how they sustain their country and their economy and basically their schools. I thought it was important because, you know, we're trying to bring so much relevance into the classroom these days, especially with seniors. I teach seniors and getting them to pay attention to anything is difficult. So the more relevance you have, the more likely they are to actually like perk up and listen. So I felt it was really important for me to live it firsthand. So I'm not just lecturing from a book. I'm not just lecturing from what I read on the internet. So I can actually say, hey, I saw this. I was at this factory with these people and I saw how it directly impacts students your age. I saw that there were no big box stores there. People cannot just go to Walmart, for example, or the mall. The people really bought from each other. They didn't go to a store and buy from a rack. They bought from the people that were weaving on the streets. You know, if you needed a hat on the way to school, you stopped with the lady on the corner and you bought the hat. And, you know, they also, you know, grow their own food. They farm their own lands. They don't hire other people out. And for students, it's kind of hard to understand that because every, everything you need, you go to Kroger, or you go to the grocery store, you go to Walmart, and these people really rely on each other instead of a big box store. I really enjoyed working with the students. Even though I worked with younger children, it was really eye-opening to see how much we have here, you know, especially at our school or in CMCSS or in the United States in general. I was really excited to see how much we have versus how little they have, but what they do with it.